if you're a foreign national or a foreign passport holder who will be flying to the Philippines anytime soon and you would like to know what is this one half pass all about, this is the video simply just for you. Hi everyone, are you flying to the Philippines and you're excited that after many years, finally, you can visit this beautiful country from the south? Yes, so looking forward that you are very excited to visit our beautiful country and let me share to you what is this online registration form that you have to complete before you actually can fly to our country and this is called the one half pass but before that let me introduce myself my name is jamie iris and i prepare travel information travel updates as well as current events about the philippines so with that i'm inviting you to please click that subscribe button and that notification bell so that you'll get updated every time i have a new video about the philippines so with that let us begin if you're a foreign national or a foreign passport holder who will be flying to the philippines anytime soon and you would like to know what is this one half pass all about this is the video simply just for you what will we discuss from this video number one what is this one half pass number two who are required to complete this one half pass and number three when do you need to complete this and four let us discuss what are the documents you have to prepare prior completing this form and lastly how how do you complete this form and let us answer also one of the frequently asked questions about this form do we need to pay jamie regarding this a one half pass registration form that's something that i'll discuss in a little while from this video so with that let's begin everyone what is one half pass the one half pass is the online registration form that has to be completed for by anyone who will be flying to the philippines whether you're entering the philippines by an airport or a seaport now the information that will be asked from you will be distributed among the relevant government entities and departments and you don't need to complete uh, the purpose of the form is for you not to complete like several online registration from that will simply ask the same information so they try to simplify it so that you will have a smoother and less uh like uh, less forms that you need to complete online uh for the same purposes or same information that will be required from you so the information will be used prior to your flight uh, to the philippines upon your airport of departure and upon arrival in the philippines and to the local government unit that you will be staying in so that is the purpose of this one half pass registration and this is definitely led by the department of health and the bureau of quarantine of the philippines now who needs to complete the form so anyone who will be entering the philippines that includes from 18 years old above to the senior citizens and below 18 years old i mean from the infant so parents for the minors and the infants please ensure to help complete the form and for any elderly or senior citizen for any elderly who may need further guidance or some answers to your questions please feel free write down uh, on the comment box and i'll try my best to help you out with the answers now when do you need to complete this now let's divide this into two so first if you're fully vaccinated and you have a booster you can complete the form within 72 hours before your flight and same thing if you're a fully vaccinated but without any booster you have to wait until you receive the result for your COVID-19 testing yes so whether it's an RT-PCR test or an antigen test now what are the documents that you have to prepare and upload on this form so number one so please prepare your passport and then a second please prepare your flight details you don't need to upload the document per se but uh, the, some of the information from these two documents you have to input it on the online registration system and then the other documents that you have to upload are the following the vaccination 
uh, certificate or card. Same thing with the vaccination or booster card. And if you do not have yet the booster doses, then you are required to upload the COVID-19 test result, whether it's an antigen or an RT-PCR test result. And those are the documents that you have to complete and upload uh, to this One Health Pass registration form. Now, the moment of truth, the question is how? So let me show you how to complete this form step by step. Estimate depends on how fast you will be able to complete this. So it's around uh, 10 to 15 minutes or maximum 20 minutes. If you have all the documents with you, it will not take that long unless otherwise there will be technical challenges or, you know, internet uh, issues that you might encounter but hoping not so that you can complete this very fast now please take note everyone the official one half pass website will be https that's www.onehalfpass.com.ph so again uh, another question i would like to answer jamie do we have to pay for this the answer there is a no Registering for the One Health Pass, everyone, for foreign nationals or for Filipinos, are for free. So you do not need to pay any amount. So whether it's in pounds or in dollars, you don't need to pay anything. This is for free. If there are other sites that you might have access and is asking you for a payment, Please be careful. Please check the website if this is what we have on the screen. If not, please do not input any personal information or else it might be compromised. And please do not pay anything or nor enter your credit card details. Again, it may be compromised. So once again, everyone, this is the official website of the One Health Pass. That's onehealthpass.com.ph. You will immediately see this. So please just close this Have a Healthy Travel to the Philippines. And then simply you'll see the different tiles that you can actually access later on. The onehealthpass.com.ph is a website, not an application. So you don't need to download this. You simply have to go to the website and access and click one register once you click one register you will see a reminder so it has two languages one is in tagalog and one is in filipino please just read the english reminder so the accuracy of the information and personal data you will fill in through this portal is your sole responsibility by continuing to register you confirm that you understand the information provided on the registration form is true complete and correct now the bureau of quarantine shall not be liable for any claims damages or liability arising from any incorrect or incomplete information provided just click ok and then please just read the reminders regarding the prevention tips for the spread of monkeypox virus to avoid it. And once you're done with that, you will not be prompted to the first page of the one-stop shop MROF registration for the One Health Pass. Now, the reminder is just simply the same, just to ensure that you complete this form with accuracy. And the important notice is just to remind you that for foreign or Filipinos who are 18 years old and above, fully vaccinated travelers but without any booster, then you are required to do your RT-PCR test taken within 48 hours before your flight. Or you may also take an antigen test within 24 hours prior to your departure from the country of origin or port of embarkation. Please make sure that it, this is from a certified healthcare facility. It could be a lab, a clinic, a pharmacy, or remotely supervised or other similar establishments. Now, on the other hand, for fully vaccinated with a booster shot, 18 years old above, and for anyone who's fully vaccinated, minor 12 to 17 years old traveling with, uh, again, boosted or fully vaccinated parents, Foreign or Filipino travelers must upload their proof of vaccination only. And those are some of the reminders. Now, let us just take a look at this. 
Okay, so let us just take a look. So the first question that you have to answer and complete is when is the departure going to the Philippines? So within 72 hours, any fully vaccinated traveler can definitely complete this, especially if you're a foreign passport holder. So that includes Filipino nationals, former Filipinos who only hold a foreign passport and you do not have any Philippine passport anymore. So within 72 hours, as long as you're fully vaccinated with booster, you can complete the form already. Example, September 12th is the date for today. So if you will be flying September 15th, you can actually complete it today. And then when will you be arriving in the Philippines? If you're from the U.S., usually it's two days after. So the system still accepts it. How will you know if the system accepts it? It's simply because you don't see any error down below. Usually, if the system does not or will not accept it, you will see an error and a red message below next. Now, since everything is okay, we can now proceed. Please select type of entry or port of entry in the Philippines airport will be our choice and then we can choose any of this airport that you will be arriving from so naia terminal one is what we have chosen and of course we'll be arriving as an aircraft passenger for this example we will be using the foreign national for this example we will be using uh, the example for foreign national, again, this means for any foreign national who were not former Filipinos and for former Filipinos who are now holding a foreign passport holder. Uh, and for former Filipinos who are now holding a foreign passport, this example will exactly be what you will need to follow. For OFWs and non-OFWs, please watch my other Tagalog videos so that at least you can see step by step how did we complete the form for you. And of course, for all foreign nationals, you have to be vaccinated upon traveling to the Philippines. So our answer here, have you been vaccinated for COVID-19? Should be yes. And please choose the vaccination card that you have. Is it the WHO ICV. If it is country where you were vaccinated, please choose. If it's the Philippines, then you choose Philippine Vaxer PH. But if you got vaccinated somewhere else and you are using the national vaccine card, just choose the country where you got the card. Now, in the country that you got vaccinated from are not in the list don't despair okay it's okay you can just simply choose the other country not listed above the explanation for this is because uh there were some countries uh that were not included yet like before may 30 and they need to present a reciprocal agree uh, something about the reciprocal agreement uh that the philippine philippines was requiring from other countries countries but the, those were all removed uh, by May 30, 2022 so if your country is not listed above just simply choose this and you'll be okay and once you've chosen this we can now proceed to the next page click next now once you're on the second page you will see the one health pass registration platform now please all the fields in red and with asterisks must be completed or filled out. Now, for the first Now, for the first field, we have to complete your personal profile. Now, if you will be editing this registration form the only uh, part that you can edit will be the personal profile which is the first uh, details that we will be completing and the residence details other than that travel details are all not uh cannot be edited anymore so let's complete this uh please fill in the last name your first name middle name and then if you have any suffix and your gender so let's take a look after that, your birth month, birthday, and birth year. 
civil status and nationality. Occupation. If your occupation is listed, please choose. If not, then just state others or not stated. And then passport number. And one great thing, they are now allowing you to input the phone from your country. So please just indicate that. Email address. And after that, please ensure, by the way, for your email, it must be active. You can access it. You know your username and you know your passport because again the copy of the qr code for the one half pass registration be sent to your email now your educational attainment permanent country of residence country of birth and the permanent city of residence and that's it you have completed already the personal profile and after this everyone you can complete the residence details now please take the destination upon arrival in the philippines will you be staying in a residence or will you be staying in the hotel if you'll be staying in the hotel resort or tourist destination please name the hotel resort and tourist destination the province and the municipality so check that from the hotel now if you'll be staying in our residence so please just indicate the house number lot or building number the street subdivision or the purok and then of course the province and the municipality and that's it. We've completed your residence details. Now, the third one will be the travel details. So please just indicate the country where you came well, where you will be flying from. And then the airline name. So please take note also. It mentions here that if you have a connecting flight, please just indicate the flight that will go directly or fly directly to the philippines and the flight number and then seat number it's not required so if you don't have it you don't need to uh worry about it now the estimated days in the philippines this is a must now each nationality from different countries will have let us just say a certain number of days it's not the same for everyone that you can be allowed to enter the philippines visa free so for if you will be flying from the u.s that it usually is like maximum of 30 days some like for example in china so if they'll be flying here in the philippines there are certain parts that you know they can only stay in the philippines for 14 days and there are those that requires a visa actually so please ensure that you mention uh the estimated days in the philippines and if you need to uh request for a visa if you'll be staying more than what is required from you then please do apply for that before you actually fly to the philippines now what's the main purpose of visit to the philippines usually it's uh, either for business or professional convention conferences and for you it might be holiday pleasure or vacation so simply choose that and we're done for travel details we're complete now let's complete the vaccination information if you've had your j and j vaccination then you will only be asked for the first dose and your booster dose however like for this example we will use the two dose or let us just say we'll use the pfizer brand so if you will be using pfizer for example automatically after completing the first dose it will ask you for the second dose so simply complete that and the name of vaccine and then it will prompt you for the booster dose now let me give you two examples the first one will be if you don't have any booster so it will be like this so just leave the answer to no 
Upload your vaccine card or certificate. Let's see. And then after that, uh, make sure everyone, it must be in PDF, JPG, or JPEG, or in PNG form only. And then you can upload the negative RT-PCR antigen test result. So you must have it with you. Okay, and upload that there. And then the date of the swap test. And voila, if you don't have any booster and you're fully vaccinated and a foreign national, you have completed the vaccination information. And you can proceed to the next one. However, Miss Jamie, how about our Jamie? If I only have like, if I do have a booster, what will I do? You simply have to click yes and you can see it changed. Now it will, I mean, the details that are asked from you are changed. So it will now ask you for the date of your booster dose. And then the name of the vaccine and country where you actually had it. And then you will be asked to upload a proof of booster dose. So if, let us just say, it's on the same card that you had for your primary, just simply upload the same card and it will be fine because they will know that the booster is also on that card because for the cdc card usually all the information for your vaccination and booster are on the same card right so and that's it so whether you have a booster or no booster we have completed already your vaccine information now Let's take a look at the countries traveled. Now, this does not have any asterisk at all, so you may skip it. That's fine because you don't need to complete this. But then should if you will be completing this, all it simply asks from you are the countries where you worked from, the countries that you visited and transited in the last 30 days, and that's it. You can proceed to the exposure history. Exposure history, it simply asks you for uh, if you had been at the history of exposure to known probable or confirmed COVID-19 case 14 days before the onset of signs and symptoms or if asymptomatic, 14 days before swabbing or specimen collection or any knowledge of being exposed to a person diagnosed with monkeypox? If your answer is no, please just click no. For clinical information, have you been feeling uh, sick or have you been sick in the past 30 days? If no, please just click no. And comorbidities, do you have any? If yes, uh, please choose from the comorbidities that we have on the list, whether it's cancer, diabetes, gastrointestinal, genitourinary, heart disease, hypertension, lung disease, or neurological disease. If none from those, then just enter uh, the information on this box. Other comorbidities and specify it. And if none, just simply click no. And from this orange box, it simply will ask you if you develop any of the mentioned signs and symptoms from the time of registration until your arrival at the Philippine airport. You must declare it to the quarantine medical officer and your cooperation will very much uh, be appreciated. And that's it, everyone. You're almost done. Now, the data privacy and affidavit of undertaken will have what we call three points. So you simply affirm and say that, number one, so the information you have given in this form is true, complete, and accurate. And then number two, you authorize the DOH and BOQ to collect all and process all the information or data that you have given. And also... Uh, this will serve and help for the advanced information for your arrival purposes. Uh, the number three will not be applicable for you. These are usually for unvaccinated Filipino nationals who need to undergo the hotel facility uh, quarantine. Now, once you're done, please click the box. It simply says here that you attest that all the information you stated in this application are true and correct based from your personal knowledge. And after that, simply click the or sorry enter the captcha security details in this box and after we've entered that 
please click submit. And once you click submit, it will prompt you to this page. Now, uh, from this page, you will see the QR code. The QR code will be valid for boarding and you're qualified for the express lane because you have all the information already. And some reminders, so you must be mindful of your health and the people around you at all times. If you develop any of the mentioned signs and symptoms prior to your flight, please consult your doctor. And if you develop any all the mentioned signs and symptoms during the flight inform your flight crew and you must declare if you develop any other mentioned signs and symptoms from the time of registration until your arrival in the philippine airport to the quarantine medical officer and please take note after the registration should you have any correction in your personal details you may edit the details through just copy this everyone Okay, just copy that and uh, paste it on the internet uh, search box. And then uh, you can simply edit only two. Okay, two of the sections from the One Health Pass registration. That is the personal details as well as the residence details. Should you have some corrections for travel details and other uh, parts or sections of the One Health Pass, you have to repeat the for uh, completing the form all over again so i hope that will not happen uh but then again that is just a reminder just in case uh you have some corrections from this form now last but not the least please ensure that you check your email uh your registration will be validated by the bureau of quarantine and a confirmation email will be sent to your registered email address so with that everyone so you already have and you're ready to fly so you already have your one health pass registration form so with that everyone always remember the official one health pass website will be www.onehealthpass.com.ph and this online registration form is not is without any fee you can complete this and get a qr code for free so once again everyone my name is jamie iris and looking forward to that you find this video helpful and informative if you do please click like and at the same time i'm inviting you to click that sub subscribe button and that notification bell so that you'll get updated with the updates that we are bringing to you from this website so once again I simply want to wish you a blessed flight and enjoy your vacation back in our country. Or if this will be your first time in the Philippines, looking forward that you'll enjoy the beauty of the country that we have in the Philippines. And to all Balik Bayans, welcome back. So with that, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all in my next video should you have some questions please feel free to drop it down on the comment boxes so with that god bless you stay safe and stay healthy everyone